Hello, everybody, and thank you for listening to the Silly Goose Sports Talk. I am Big T. And I am Skippy. And before we begin today's episode, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because you got the latest sports news, you know? Win-win. So, how was your week, Jay? Uh, pretty good, I'll say. It was nothing special. How about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, Nothing special also, but... <laughs> we do have a little um, a bit of a what? So Thanksgiving's Thursday, as you know. Any big plans? Yeah. No, we're having the family over on Thursday. So, yeah, that's going to be nice. The cousins, it's awesome. And uh, we were going to go to West Virginia on Friday, but we're not doing that. But that's okay. So, yeah, just going to hang out during the weekend. And then Monday night, we'll have the Washington football team showdown. That'll be an awesome game but it's not NFL segment yet. How's your week going to go? I mean, it's going to be pretty good. Um, so while we were in the car, my mom was saying uh, who had to cook what, and then I'm like, and hey, let me assume me and dad have nothing. <laughs> she, so me and dad literally have nothing to cook, and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Lucky. And I, yeah, and I, I do have to somehow convince my grandma to put on football. And, and she's a big opera fan. So I think my strat, because like every Thanksgiving, we put on a musical or something. So I think my strategy this year is I'm going to I'm gonna ask if I can get football on, but well, mute it, thing. but mute it and then play opera over it. But, okay, so here's the thing about the football this week. These Thanksgiving games are not, these, they're not as good as they could be. These matchups. Football is football. Yeah, but if you're watching the lousy Bears playing the hapless Lions, you just watch that a fumble fest. I mean, yeah, fumble fests are fun, but you don't want to throw off all the good food you've been eating for Thanksgiving. You don't want to throw that up because of all that fumble fest, you know? Yeah. Also, any Thanksgiving, any, do you have any weird or fun Thanksgiving traditions? Well, actually, yeah. So a thing we've always done my Grammy always, we always had the, the, um, what you call it? The Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. We always watch that. And, um, mm, same. she would always, same. Make, she would always make us the, um, stuff from there. We like, we'd have the pretzel sticks, the popcorn, the jelly beans. We'd have all that good stuff. And yeah, yeah it, it, it's awesome. We, we still do that. It's really sweet. That's fun. It's, how about you? Nice. Um, uh, well, we, we don't, we, we don't really like, um, a cooked turkey in this house. Turkey like is one dry. year, like what? Yeah, like that exactly. One year, my grandma made um turkey and they put bacon on it to Ooh. give it some flavor. We just ate the bacon. <laughs> we like did bacon. have a good turkey. We did. We, we're not that. Weird. Um, but we all agreed as a family and the grandparents, let's just have roast beef. It's so much better. I like that. So we just I have like roast beef every year. It's it's fun. Yeah. How long have you been doing that now? Two years, I think. This and this is like the third. But yeah, and I think that's it. And we will move on. NFL. Yeah. All right, All right. the Washington Football Team. Holy cow! Coming off that high from that win back in back from Tampa Bay. Holy cow! Washington gets it done and spoils Cam Newton's comeback game. Taylor Heineke. Another awesome performance. He went 60 to 22 for 206 yards and three scores. Terry McLaurin catching these, catch these. This is why Terry McLaurin is one of the top guys in the league. He can catch these things that nobody else can. And Heineke, he just dropped that one right in the basket for a touchdown. He did it twice. He did that with McLaurin and then with DeAndre Carter. That was really something. And I'm looking forward to this next Monday night in, against Seattle at FedEx. This is going to be marquee matchup. The Washington can storm back into playoff contention with a win there. And this, hey, Seattle's not doing very good. So we have a shot. And then after that, Vegas is struggling. So we could be rolling back into contention. So, yeah, 27-21 the final. Washington gets the win. 
Um, Steelers. It, it, it. I don't know what. I don't even know what they were doing. So it's a, it's it's a it's an odd game. So hey, it's Steelers not as bad as that were down game seventeen last year. points in the fourth corner, and they did come back to take the lead after blocking a punt, an interception, and a huge fourth down stop, but only to have their depleted defense have a terrible miscommunication that gave up a really long touchdown pass to lose the game with two minutes left. Ouch. My little heart has been broken. Again. Again. Is it as bad as the tie with the Lions, though? Eh, no. All right. (laughs) No, because we actually made a big play coming back 17 in the fourth quarter. But just to have us – we just have a a miscommunication with a rookie mess mess the whole game up. That's rough. Yeah. It's all been such an epic win. Yeah, that would have been. so. That's a rough one. Also, we have the Chiefs. They beat the Cowboys 19-9, which was awesome. We are going to talk about that a little more later. But, yeah, that was awesome. And the Colts, holy moly, they blast the Bills 41 to 15. And that's a shocker. Mm-hmm. Vikings upset the Packers 44 to 31. And the Titans fell to the Texans. Yeah, I did not expect that either. The Browns beat the lowly Lions, but Baker Mayfield was to boot at home. That's got a. That can't be fun. Wow. Um, the Seahawks. Of what now? Avian, Avian flu. flu. <laughs> As they fell to Arizona 23 um, to 13, Washington is looking forward to Monday night. Yes, sir, they are. Now, fantasy football. We have a lot to talk about here, apparently. So, Mr. Producer is, like, doing really, really good at 8-3. and three, But he's sitting atop his division. So... The producer yeah. is both both a legend at dodgeball and fantasy football. So, well, yeah. and there's also another legend if you're watching the show. Um, we have another guy who is ten and one, I believe. Yeah, holy! Cow. But he's in the other division, so I I assume the um the playoffs are probably going to consist of um the producer, the voice of reason, that um guy. that guy, and then guy. and then a different team called Team Dad. So that's, oh, that that's dude, how I, yeah. <laughs> so that's how I assume that's gonna play out. Yeah, me and Big T oh. are not gonna be in the in our own fantasy leagues playoffs. Well, this week I got the win. I even though I'm out of contention, I got the win. Jimmy Garoppolo had a good game. Joe Mixon had a really good game. Terry McLaurin, he did his job, and I compiled a win. So we'll see what happens yeah. next week. I'm also out of contention. also. Yeah, but listen, this is like this is like Virginia Tech versus UVA. We're having a battle of the Titans this week. It's me versus Timmy. Oh, boy. this is this is gonna be the battle of the ages. Yeah, this is gonna be quite a showdown. We'll see what happens. I am gonna whoop your butt. I hope you sure. That's what someone said last week before I won. So. <laughs> All right, no, all right, now we have the World Cup. This is now. So, USA tied with Jamaica um, one-to-one, which is quite sad because America is for winning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's all we got for soccer. Well, but actually, we might have – Football. Gonna try to grab it. I'm going to grab a guess for that So because of because someone who actually can, can explain to us the World Cup qualifying format because that's almost as confusing as the NASCAR playoff system. Yeah. In baseball, we have sad news here as Juan Soto was robbed of the MVP. Absolutely robbed. Yeah. What what was the other MVP? Was it Bryce Harper or something? Yeah, Harper. I mean, Soto was a good sport about it, but it was... The really fans unfortunate. are not. Yeah, I'm not happy. I don't think I have. I don't think any Nationals fan is happy. I'm about with. to go on my Stephen okay. A. Smith. I am having a very bad day rant. Have you heard that? No. I'll send the link to you. It's funny. Uh, um, Pirates. The Pirates are on the cusp of their first off 
um, season signing. Having a one-year deal in place with a free agent left-hander, Jose... Quintina? Quintina. Quintana? Quintana. Quintana. Uh, I don't know. The major league deal is believed to be for $2 million. Nice. They need pitching, so that's good that they're getting. Wow. $2 million. So for the National League, so we have these awards. The National League Manager of the Year, we have Gabe Kepler of the Giants. Led the Giants with an expected win preseason. He basically, they were expected to win 74.5, and he won 107. So that's, like, really good for them. Mm-hmm. Um, we have American League Manager of the Year. Um, we have Kevin Cash from the Rays. He is the first backpack manager to win the to of the year t- winner since Bobby Cox in two thousand and four and two thousand five. He gets a boost from the Rays' uncanny um ability to win on a shoestring budget, and he deploys his roster game by by game to exploit every advantage he can uncover so okay so it's awesome to see him win that but to see dusty baker not win that i mean i despise the astros with a burning passion but dusty baker turned that team around from losing all those draft picks from cheating scandal stuff like that dusty baker brought them back to the world series Something that I wish, wish, wish he could have done in Washington, but yeah, it's and then lost. Baker. Yeah, well, well, yeah, Atlanta won it, and you knew Atlanta was going to win it at that point because they Atlanta just wasn't going to lose. They were tired of losing. So we have the National League Cy Young winner. We have Corbin Burns beat out Zach Wheeler of the Phillies by 10 votes. He ended up leading the NL in both strikeout rate and homers allowed rate the season while allowing just 1.8 walks per nine innings, which is, like, cool. Yeah. I don't know how you can only give up, like, 0.8 walks. It's like you let, like, mm-hmm. four-fifths of the guy, you just, like, also, get off his head. And I, I then think the we, need to ex- we need to explain to people, what is the difference between American League and National League? Okay. So, you know, it's, kind of, it's just like football. You know, the, the NFC and the AFC? Mm-hmm. The, but the thing is, unlike NFL, MLB's leagues, they have a little bit differing rules. Like in the National League, you the pitchers are able to hit. The pitchers go up to bat. But in the American League, you have the pitchers never hit other than Shohei Otani. <laughs> but um, then you also have – they have a designated hitter, a DH, which is – which usually produces a little bit more, a few more runs, but it takes away from the strategy point of getting a pinch hitter and knowing when to put the pitcher, take the pitcher out, and when to. If the pitcher's having a really good game, but you have the bases loaded and two outs, pitchers are usually an easy out. It's, it's well, not easy by any means, but it's one of the easier outs to take. But it takes away from the strategy if you add a universal DH and. Yeah, that's my two cents. All right. So um, the American League, Cy Young, we have Robbie Ray from the Blue Rays. Rays were 13 and 7 with a 2.84 ERA and a 9 and 193.1 inning pitched, which leading all to the American League pitchers with a 6.7 WAR. Nice. In the National League MVP, Bryce Harper won it after Soto got robbed. Even how high power race like this one, Harper, no, he was not a deserving winner. Who put that on the script? Uh, Soto on that. Who put that down? Uh, this it was the producer. He's okay. fired. He's All fired. Right. Get him well, out of here. We, <laughs> yeah. Well, we okay. Here's the thing. I don't want to fight him in dodgeball, and I don't want to fight him in fantasy football. If it's a battle of Madden or some video game thing, I could do that. I think I might be able to take him on, but I cannot beat him in dodgeball. So we'll just let that slide for now. You should just totally play him in Mario Kart. No, I, I know, I'm not good at Mario Kart. I'm good at NASCAR games. I am quite good at NASCAR Heat 4, if I do say so myself. I ran a 100% race at Talladega at the hard difficulty without hitting anything. So, yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Um, the American. I, I didn't hit anything, but I got hit. The American League MVP. Oh gosh. Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani. That sounds yeah. correct. Um, sees it was just too historic for the voters to ignore. And considering the um uninfamous vote, no one yes. did. You know, it's been no no yeah. one did. It was historic, not it was historic, not just because of the novelty of Hotani, because the best single season two two way player in MLB hit history, but for the real value, he wasn't con- he was contributed uh com- contributed in the, the dual vote in the dual role. He wasn't just good at both hitting and pitching. He was outstanding. That's why you need this guy in the National League because you don't have the pitchers hitting. He was a DH for a bit, but, I mean, if he's throwing eight shutout innings, just leave him in there and let him hit because he's hitting all these bombs. Just leave him in there. Yeah. Have him in the National League. Yeah, I agree. Um, penguins, hey. penguins for sale. Yeah, hey, um, penguins hockey will be. Time. Yeah, yeah, sorry, hockey time. Whoops, I just unplugged something. Give me five seconds. Hold up. What did you do? Uh, did you break something? Uh, and, uh, nah. All right, so <laughs> penguins, penguins are for sale. Penguins will be sold to Fenway Sports Group. A source told that DK Sport, um, Pittsburgh Sports, but Mario Limix will retain a, major, a minority from you. <laughs> Limit will retain a minority um stake. John W. Henry is principal of owner of the Fenway Sports Group, owning forty percent. Other partners in the Fenway Sports Group, including the Pittsburgh Narrative, Larry Lachino, and the Billionaire Brothers, Ted and Bill Alfon Alfon or something, um, and the M, the NBA legend LeBron James. So speaking of the Fenway Group, they, they we're also getting owned by own, LeBron James. Yeah, I mean, look, they also own an ownership stake in a NASCAR team, Roush. Well, actually, they're Roush Fenway. They also own. Racing. They also own um, Red Sox. Yeah, they own the Red Sox Stadium, and they own RFK Racing part ownership stake in that. Yeah. So I, I'm honestly not too. Um, I think that they will do a good job because we still have Mario, um, Lemieux. Yeah, there. But I, but I do. I am glad that they that we but, do have fun. Look, ownership changes usually lead in a change in culture. Not necessarily changing culture, but like in it's like oh, new guys. Maybe we could do good. That was the initial high when Dan Snyder bought the Washington Football Team. Everyone thought, oh, this guy's a local guy. He's a guy who's a, a lifelong fan. But they didn't know that he was going to run the team into the dumpster, but he did. <sighs> Yeah. What happened on the ice with Pittsburgh? On the ice, we have game 15, Buffalo, 44 shots in the goal, but only one went in during a 2-1 loss. Um, yeah, Pens need to learn to score. Um, game 16, Montreal. Speaking of scoring, the Pens um, peppered the, the, the Canadian with six goals. The offense started looking like itself as the lines are solidifying with players getting back from injuries and COVID. And game 17, Maple Leafs. Another shutout to um, Owen versus um, TR uh-huh. as the Canadian trip continues. The Penguins get much needed two points in, the strong, in a strong defensive game. And finally, game 18 versus the Jets. Another long, another low scoring grind, but the Penguins pull out with a 3 2 1 win. Nice for them. They've been. They started off really bad, but it looks like they're getting their season back together. In Washington, we have game 16 of the season versus the Anaheim Ducks. Late night hockey. I don't know what happened because I fell asleep during the pregame show. All I know is we lost 3-2 in overtime. So, yeah. Another late night hockey game. There was no scoring until really late where Garnet Hathaway scores twice to give the Capitals a 2 0 win versus the Kings. And that was nice. And you have game 18. Ilya Samsonov grabs a shutout of his own, where Vanacek got one previously. As the Caps won 4 0. Two goals each from Ovechkin and Connor Sheary. So that was nice. 
And then game 19 versus the Seattle Kraken, the Caps had two, had a goal from Wilson and a goal from Ovechkin, but they fell 5-2 to two against the new team of the Seattle Kraken. So, 2-2, two and two, well, 2-2, two, 2-1-1 two, 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 one and one on, this, on this West Coast road trip. I'll take that any day, and they'll be heading back eastward in the next soon. Yeah, we'll be headed, headed back home soon. So yeah, indeed. Um, I'm not going to do the Wizards. Other NHL news yeah. for once. Oh, we have our oh other NHL news. Troy Terry for the um. I'm not even going to try saying that. Ducks. Anaheim Ducks. For, Anaheim Ducks. was forward was one of the most breakout stars in the NHL early season, and is on a 16 game point streak. Oh wow! Impressive. Is that is. Yeah, that's good for him. <laughs> I didn't expect the Ducks to be good. Now, hey, you can the, take away with the Wizards. All right. In the NBA, we got the Wizards and game 14 versus the Hornets. The Wizards look to keep the win streak going, but a lousy third quarter to give the Hornets the lead that the Wizards couldn't come back from. Final score, 97-87 Hornets. And, yeah, the next game, it was back to reality as the Wizards lose 112-97. to They were on a two-game losing streak. Then game 16 versus the Heat. Again, Washington back on top with a comeback win against the Heat in the final minutes. Apparently, it was like a really big comeback, but I was dancing my butt off on Saturday night, so I missed it. Then last night, game 17 versus the Hornets. A valiant comeback effort fell short, as do the Wizards. 109 to 103. They could not hit a three-point shot all game. Who won? Uh, the Hornets, the Wizards lost. Ah, uh, that was not made clear. Um, we yeah, have <laughs> time for the greatest segment of all time, Dad Jokes. Let's go. So, all right, well, um, yeah. let's start. Number one. Did you hear about you two's um Lar? I heard he. I heard. I hear he works as a. As I work, I hear. Sorry, I'm just gonna restart. Um, did you hear about you two's lawyer? I heard he works pro bono. Fair enough. Um, Dad, can I watch the TV? Sure, as long as you don't turn it on. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good one. I'm gonna save that. So, and I'm just gonna use it. Um, I heard Humpty Dumpty is having an awful winter, which is a shame. Because he had a great fall. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, where did the crayon go for its summer vacation? The dryer? Colo- Colorado. <laughs> um, have I told you about my story about screws, nuts, and bolts? Most people say it's riveting. <laughs> I think I liked the uh, the either the dad can I watch TV or the Humpty Dumpty one. Yeah, those were both insanely good. Like I'd say the two best that we've done so far in this era of the podcast. Really? So yeah, those are the two best I've heard yet. Uh, we need to do well, like a compilation video of the best dad jokes. Well, yeah, we will be doing that kind of stuff. So NCAA football. Virginia Tech is up first. Sir, we got yeah on this pod on the on the podcast last week. I predicted that Justin Fuente would not come back as head coach next year. Fuente did not even last a day. As yeah, we they fired him that morning. Fuente had a forty three and thirty one record in six seasons, but that was not good enough for Beamer Ball. Yeah, we'll see what happens with Virginia Tech and the coaching staff. We lost all the good recruits that we were picking up, but we can uh, we'll be should be okay. We'll have, we'll be fine in the next few years. But on the field, Tech flopped thirty six to twenty eight versus the Miami Hurricanes. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where were we? Hold on. Where are you? Um, UVA, Virginia falls to Pitt, unfortunately, 48 to 38 in a back and forth affair. Yeah, that was an up and down game. 
Yeah. And we also yeah, have Penn State. Anyway. The Lions slugged the Rutgers at 28-0. to zero. And the Indy Lions were rage with the flu this week because the QB, Sean Clifford, who finally returned, was getting IVs Friday and even Saturday morning. But Ooh. it wasn't enough as he kept pulling in the first quarter. Ooh. Back um, back QB, okay. backup QB, um, Christian. We'll say Villo. Uh, that's an EAUX. Villo. Um, comes in and excels after Sean Clifford goes out. Um, Villo, 15 of 24 for 235 yards and three touchdowns. And they also ran for 36 yards. And uh, Villo is not the same QB, QB that played in the, um, Iowa. He is a sophomore that hasn't played in two years because of COVID canceling his senior high school season. He looks to be the next. He looks to be the QB of next year. Yeah, and that was he. That was a good showing for that guy. In Maryland, we have the Terps falling to Michigan, fifty-nine to eighteen. It is crunch time in Maryland this week. This coming week versus Rutgers, they need to win this game in order to finish five hundred and become bowl eligible. So. Yeah, we'll keep really close tabs on that. And also, we have the Marshall Thundering Herd. They blew the doors off of Charlotte, 49-28. to 28, So, awesome job for the Herd. Uh-huh. And we have a few other games. So, Oregon, number three, number. falls to number 24, Utah, 38 7 effectively killing the Pac-12's playoff hopes. Yeah, the, wow. the Pac-12 was out. And look, so, so is the Big 12. So, it's just a power three at this point. And also, this can mean a lot in the future. Alabama, finally, they looked human for once. They, you know, it was a close win against number 21, Arkansas, but they look human in that. You saw a couple mistakes from that team. They are not immaculate. This team is beatable. And you should, yep, you saw that down. against a and You saw that this past week. Look. If they go, if they go to a SEC championship game against Georgia and they lose against Georgia, they're a two-loss team. They're not making the playoff. Mm, yeah. And also um, we have Ohio. We have Ohio State, more- State who rolled over um, Michigan State fifty-six to seven, setting up the game of the week versus Michigan next week. Yeah, that's going to be big. And you have Wake Forest falling to Clemson. Clemson's playing much, been, has been playing much better after an awful start to the year. Yeah. Yeah. And also, hey, that we, we made a mistake, though. Ohio State, Michigan is not the game of the week. The game yeah. of the week for us is that Virginia Tech and Virginia game, bragging rights and all. Yeah. Also, we have a little bit of fun here. Yeah. We are like, we looked up fun on yourself. We have the who is the best team, but we have Marvel rankings edition. So the rules are every football um, team starts with 100 marbles plus 10 bonus marbles for every power five team on schedule. And number two, um, when at home, you take 28% of your opponent's marbles. When on the road, you take 25% of your opponent's marbles. So the current top 10 is Georgia with 632 marbles, Ohio State 545. Um, Oklahoma State, 456. Notre Dame, um, we have, they have 445. Alabama, at number five, 441. O- Oklahoma, number six, 436. Baylor, 433. Michigan, at number eight, um, 428. Um, at number nine, Iowa, 38-4. And at the very bottom, number 10, Cincinnati, 376. And we do have a few other notables. We have 42, Penn State. 60 Virginia, um, 69 Marshall, 83 Virginia Tech. Nice. That's and oh, you on the other side with Maryland with 88. I saw that right on the top. So oh, yeah. we got college basketball. We got a lot of ups and downs in this one, actually. And we're covering a few more teams now. Mm-hmm. So UVA, UVA falls number 15 at Houston. But beats Copen State and Georgia to improve three and two. We have the Maryland Terrapins. They fall to George Mason, but they bounce back against Hofstra to improve to four and one. And you got Virginia Tech. They slug St. Frank's 85-55. And then Merrimack, 72 to 43, to improve to five and zero. Oh. 
big matchup against number number nine Memphis on Wednesday tomorrow night. That's going to be big. Indeed, it will. Uh, we have a Georgetown La Hoyas slug um America seventy nine to fifty seven and move um to one and one on the year and follow and follow it up by beating Sienna. Yes, sir, they did. And the VCU Rams, they beat Vanderbilt 48-37, and they fell to Chattanooga. So, yeah, it's sad for them. Um, at Penn State, the Lions beat St. Saint, Saint, um, Francis, New York, and Cornell to improve at 3-1. You have, speaking of George Mason, they beat Maryland earlier. They beat the Terps, and I forgot to, I forgot they existed, so I put them on here now. They're not, they are 5-2 and two as they fell to JMU in Washington. And speaking of JMU, they are 4-0, and oh, well, until last night where they lost to Kent State. But, yeah, we got these local teams. They're doing not horrible for these all these local guys. We, hey, what if we saw, like, the Elite Eight be all local teams? Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. I, know it's, I know it's very unlikely. Never yeah. going to happen, but. All right. Well, that's all we got for that. Now time for Big T Silly Season. Wait a minute. I had a perfect bracket back in the 2020 season, and I will show it to you right now. This is the perfect NCAA bracket of 2020. Wait, you had a perfect bracket? Yeah, it's a perfect bracket. They didn't have the tournament in 2020. Oh, yeah, you got it. Nice. All right, so yeah, now we got Big T Silly Season NASCAR Minute. Mike Harmon is in big doo-doo with NASCAR for violating the testing rules and testing at Rock at the old Rockingham Speedway. So yeah, that 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 um what's it called? That track has been out of circulation for a bit, and they um they're only allowed to test within certain um rules within NASCAR. They're only allowed to test at certain places and certain times. So yeah, they're in a little bit of doo-doo for that. And also, you have Caesar Barcerella is suspended indefinitely from NASCAR for failing a drug test. So bad. And we mm. also have some happy news in NASCAR. We have Tony Stewart and Leah Pruitt got married this past Saturday. So congratulations to Tony, three time NASCAR champion. That is awesome for him. All right. So, and that concludes NASCAR this week. Now, time for the uh, Tato of the Week. Do, 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 do. All right. What do we got? I need a little theme song here. Um, we have two of the week, Big T, my own, the own host of the show. We're singing nice. Taylor Swift at youth group, which causes much pain, much acne among the adults. Yeah, okay. The, not all of the adults hated it. Tatiana, the, only the, Tatiana. She's the, boss, she's the she's the boss of the whole thing, and that it was awesome. It was awesome. So we we had always me and some other people we'd always joked around asking hey 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 can we play swift can we play swift and then like why why don't you play something good play something actually good to me we expected her to say no but she actually said yes so that was awesome why don't you uh, play something good not swift it is good it's good songwriting no no yeah that was it was awesome we had us and some other people look People started swing dancing in the in the back right close to that piano. You know the piano is PLC. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, look, I it was a little bit odd to see people swing dancing to swift music, but then we and then as we had like the microphone to the speaker to the loud speaker, and then I like put it up to people when they were singing. <laughs> I feel the I feel pain to every I feel pain to everyone. Who was there? That that was not singing and dancing. Well, uh, it was our hearts out. Our hearts go out for them. So, jag off of the week. We have LeBron James elbowing uh, um, Isaiah Stewart and drawing blood, getting his first suspension. Can I call him a naughty word? Can I say no. a naughty word? Beep. No. You can say beep, but no. Beep. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Ron Potato, all the judges slash voters. Who gave MVP to Harper, not Soto. Shame on you. Yeah. That's a sin, sir. Yes, sir, it is. Shame on you. Sweep team of the week. We have the Canadian hockey teams that allowed the Pens to go 3-0 as they <laughs> ravaged the land. So thank you, Canada. 
You okay over there? Uh, we have Silly Goose of the Week. Tristan Jerry as the pens putting up back to back shutout. So good for him. Jerry. Yeah. And now that is all we have for the title of the week. So let's move on and close the podcast with Big T's music notes. Yes, sir. We have Luke Combs. He released a new single, Doing This. And it's pretty good. It, that has potential. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a single for the next, for the a third album, which Luke, look, here's the thing about Luke Combs. Have you seen his album? What's it called? His um, album art? Yeah, it's, and yeah, it's pretty good. Normally. The first one is his first album. This one's for you is like stained glass looking, which is yeah. really cool. And then his second album, what you see is what you get is, is like a self portrait looking thing. It's really cool. I cannot wait to see what the third album can bring. And yeah. I can't wait to see what it will bring musically. And that's going to be awesome. And you have Russell Dickerson. He re-released his... You've heard that song, Home Sweet, that's on radio? Um, Probably, yeah. So he re-released it with Lady Annabellum singing the second verse. I'm not calling it the new name because it's not bad. And yeah, so it was awesome. That was a really good duet. It could hit radio i i'm not sure if it'll hit radio but it should be a pretty good hit and we also have abby bear releases a deluxe version of that debut album goldmine highlighted by a single pick me up in a wedding version which is like an acoustic piano version of you know that song the good ones mm-hmm. yeah it's all it was all over the radio so yeah, that will conclude Big T's music. When I see that, also... when, I, when I see "Pick Me Up," I think of the uh, the Go Go's. Pick me <laughs> before you go go. Don't leave me also, there. Like also, yo, we yo. completely forgot that Adele dropped an album. I still haven't listened to that yet because but, I have, uh, don't have time for that. There, there, there wasn't. It didn't. It, nothing said Chris Stapleton on the album list, so I didn't click on it. So yeah, I want. Are you trashing Adele here? No, I'm not. It's just that I, that Friday, I was busy. Friday. I'll, I'll listen to it at some point this week. Uh, fair enough. Um, and That is all we have for you guys this week. And beware, Thursday, we're gonna, we have another tier list. And we are going to be doing Thanksgiving yeah. foods. So if you yeah, want to see us already... trash your favorite Thanksgiving meals, there you go. <laughs> Oh, and also, I'm not, I haven't, I, uh, I told Skip about this, but we're just, I'm just going to reiterate this on air. I will be doing a Taylor Swift song ranking at some point. So, yeah. No. Look, Skippy, you don't, Skippy, look, listen, Skippy, you don't even have to be on it. I could just grab anyone else and rank the songs. You, you can just leave if you want. I'm getting That's fired. Completely fine. No, you're not getting fired. It's just that I can hold up the show. I did that a couple times. That well, when you were on vacation, the show only lasted like twelve minutes. When it was that was that was not our best show. But that's okay. You did a good job when I was at summer camp, though. That was. Uh, I, well, I feel like I'm pretty good at doing it by myself, but, you know. It it yeah, it, I, it always works best when there's two. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Uh, everybody, that is all we have for you this week. So thank you for listening. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Have an awesome holiday. Mm-hmm. Happy holidays, and we will see everybody Thursday. Keep yeah, on honking. And Friday, well, and Friday for the... Oh, yeah, keep on honking, yeah. Keep on honking.